Good morning, everyone. Um, we're just gonna wait another, oh, it's nine o'clock. All right, so today, we're gonna slow it down just a little bit today and we're gonna do yoga because I don't know about you, but I need some stretching. So we're gonna do some, oh, oh man, hopefully this works, some alphabet yoga. Um, we're just gonna go straight through the alphabet, starting at A and hopefully getting all the way to Z. Um, unless somebody wants to put in the chat, a specific word they would like me to spell. Just be patient because I'm on the iPad and I'll have to like make my way through it. So, A, airplane. So let's see, what we're gonna do is you're gonna come back, let's see, can you see me? I'm gonna have to keep adjusting the screen. Come back, you're gonna get on one foot, we're gonna do this on both sides, and you're gonna work to lift your foot up and put your arms out. And we're going to try to hold it for the count of 10. Now, if you need to keep resting your foot down, you can do that. All right. So I'm going to do my left foot first. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. I don't know about you, but I'm flying on vacation. I want to go lay by a pool and go swimming. Nine, 10. All right. I'm going to try my right leg now. Remember, if you can't come all the way down, that's totally okay. You can stay up like this and work on just tapping your foot. You can come down further, but if you need to put your foot down or touch something, you're allowed to do that. Here we go, let's see. I'm gonna fly, I think, to Hawaii. Who wants to come with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Great job. All right, oh, well, this is perfect. So now that we're in Hawaii, we're gonna go on a boat. So let's see if I can do this without me having to move the computer. So you're gonna sit down and you're gonna try to lift your legs and kind of lean back with your body, all right? So we're gonna make a boat with our body. We're gonna try to hold it for a count of 10. All right, let's see. Maybe we're gonna go on a boat to go scuba diving in Hawaii. There we go. And if you need to rest your feet down or put your, if you need to put your hands back to do this, that's okay too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Next letter is C, we're gonna do some cat cow. All right, you guys can still see me. So we're staying on the ground. We're gonna do hands and knees and we're gonna drop our belly down and lift our head up. And then we're gonna lift our back and drop our heads, we're arching our back. All right, we're gonna do that 10 times. All right, start with the head up, belly down. Lift the head down, back up. That was one. Oh, this feels so good on my back. Two. You can make the animal sounds if you want. So when you're down like this, it's the cows. You can go moo. And then the cat, it's meow. Three. Moo. Five. Halfway there, guys. Six. Seven. Oh, my cow. And then my cat. Eight. Two more. Cow. And some cat. Nine. Last one. Big move. Move. And a big meow. Meow. Ten. All right, guys. You're doing great. Let's see what D is. Oh. D is dolphin. So this looks a little bit like downward dog also. So I'm going to show you a couple different ways to do it. So the way they're doing it on here is... Well, okay, so downward dog is your hands and feet on the ground and you're making a big triangle. But this could be like dolphin because it's a flipper also. 
So, or the way they're doing it on there, if you can do it is get down on your forearms. Oh, that's a big stretch for me. I'm gonna go back up to my hand. Whoop, I lost my balance, sorry guys. All right, so I'm gonna do hands and feet and I'm gonna push my hips back so I feel a stretch. You can bend your knees if you need to. I'm gonna count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Oh, E, this one looks kind of fun. It's elephant. So for elephant, we're gonna lean over at the hips, clasp your hands, and we're gonna swing our trunk side to side. And I'm moving my hips too, so as my trunk goes, my hips go. All right, we're gonna do 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and I'm gonna do a big because I'm an elephant. All right, oh, F is one of my favorites. It's a frog. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to get down like this. So you're gonna squat, try to squat down and get your hands on the floor. So you can see me, so I'm down low. I'm trying to keep my heels flat, but if I can't, that's okay. I can lift my heels up. I'm gonna have my hands down. All right, so this is a frog that's getting ready to jump. We're gonna count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you know what? We're gonna end with a big ribbit frog jump. All right, who doesn't love jumping like a frog? Let's see. Oh, this is a fun one. G is for gorilla. Very similar to elephant, but this time our hands are loose. So we're gonna bend forward. You can bend your knees a little bit if you need to. And we're gonna let our arms just swing. If you wanna do the ooh, ooh, oh, ah, ooh, ooh, ah, ah, while you swing back and forth, we're doing it for a count of 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. All right, I know, I'm a little silly. Oh, this one's a nice one. H is happy baby. So we're gonna get back down on the ground. You guys see me? Okay. You're gonna lay down and you're gonna bring your legs up and you're gonna put your hands around to the outside of your feet and you're gonna rock side to side. If you have trouble holding onto your feet like that, you can just hold behind your knees. You can hold on your legs. But we're gonna rock side to side for the count of 10. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, this feels so good. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Whew. I can't wait to see what I is. Guys, we're powering through this alphabet. Oh, okay. I looks like it could be challenging. We're gonna try it though. It's similar to frog, but it's the itsy bitsy spider. All right, so don't laugh at me if I topple over. So we're gonna bend down like we did for frog, but instead of putting our hands in front, we're gonna try to put our hands through our legs like this and on the outside of our feet. Whoa, this is hard to hold my balance. So if you have trouble doing this, you can lift your bottom up some, or you can move your hands inside your feet, or you can go back and do frog. There's lots of ways you can do it. So we're gonna count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then what is it? The itsy bitsy spider goes up the water spout. Whew, stand
stand back up. Okay. Oh, okay. J is a good one. It's joy. So I'm going to sit back down on the ground again. I'm going to cross my leg. So crisscross applesauce. I'm going to give myself a big hug. And then I'm going to open my arms, telling somebody else I want a hug. And then I'm going to give myself a hug. And if you notice, this time my right arm is on top. I'm going to open up and then hug myself again. This time my left arm is on top. So I'm gonna switch and I'm gonna give myself 10 hugs during joy. All right? One, oh, you can twist if you want to. Two. Three. Four, you're gonna be such a good hugger. Five, open up and hug and twist, six. Oh, good job everybody, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, let's see, after J is the letter K. Oh, okay. This one is kick and hold. So we're going to stand on one foot. Whoa, my balance is a little off. So if you need to hold on to something, you can, but we're going to kick your leg up and try to hold it for the count of 10. Again, if you need to tap your foot down or hold on to something, you can. So ready? Kick. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, shake it out. Okay, I'm gonna do my other leg now. Here we go. I'm gonna kick and hold. Oh, this is a harder leg for me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Next is lion. Get your lion roars ready. We're gonna get down onto the ground. Okay, here we go. Down onto the ground, we're gonna get on our knees. So can you see how I'm on my knees and I'm lifting my hips up? If you need to sit back down and get your balance, you can, but try to come back up. Ready? And we're gonna go, we're gonna lean, whoop, I lost my balance a little bit. We're gonna lean our head back and we're gonna go roar. And then you can stay here or you can come back down for rest. But we're gonna do 10 roars like a lion, okay? Here we go. Roar. Remember, you can sit back down if you need to. Roar. Two. Roar. Three. Roar. Four. Oh, I'm gonna sit down after that one. Here we go. Coming back up. Roar. Five, roar, six. Now your roar is better than mine, probably. Roar, seven, roar, eight. Two more, ready? Head back, shoulders back, roar, nine. And make the last one your best one. Here we go. Roar. Great job on your lions, everybody. Oh. Okay, M is moon. So we're gonna stand here, bring your hands up overhead, and we're gonna go all the way over to the side. Pull and come back up. Then we're gonna go to the other side and like we're making a, a moon, like a tiny sliver of a moon, and come back up. Okay, we're gonna do. 10 times on each side. So here we go. One. Oh, good job, Owen. I need this stretch. Ready? Here we go. Two. I'm pushing my hips over when my hands come over. So now I come back to the middle. So now watch. My hips go over and my arms go to the opposite side. Okay, here comes number three. Three. All right, four. Good job, everybody.
everybody. Five. This is good work. Six. If you want, you can bring your feet together and it works on your balance a little bit more. Seven. Ooh. Try not to twist. Try to just go straight to the side. So if you can only go a little bit, that's okay. Or you can try to reach further. Eight. You know I can feel it stretching all the way down to there. If you're sitting too for this, that's completely okay too. Nine. And last one. 10. Oh, that was a good stretch. Oh, and it's kind of fun. N is name your own. Hmm. Let's see. I'm going to do tree pose. We might do this one later. I don't know, but so it's standing on one foot again, and I'm gonna try to pick my foot up and lift my hands up. Now remember, if you need to just put your foot on your other foot, or you need to keep one hand down, or keep your hand right here in the middle, you can do all of that, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, whoa, see I had to catch my balance. Eight, nine, 10, all right. I'm gonna do the other side. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good work. Oh, all right. O is for owl. We're going to come down to the ground. You're going to sit back on your knees or sit back on your heels and you're going to lift your arms up like this. All right, so these are the owl wings, and we're just gonna stretch back. You can lift your head up if you want. You can do a little woo, woo. Okay, we're gonna hold this for the count of 10. Woo, woo. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Woo, woo. And I'm gonna flap my wings to get back up. All right, P is for plank. So we're gonna go back down to the ground again. Now there's a couple ways you can do this. You can get on your knees and have your feet up in the air. See how I'm keeping my body nice and straight though? And I'm on my hands. You could get down on your forearms and your knees. You could do your toes and your forearms. Or you could do your hands and your forearms, okay? I mean, your hands and your toes. The goal is to keep your body straight and try to squeeze your belly muscles. So I'm gonna do my hands and toes and I'm gonna to count to 10. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Ooh, my belly muscles were burning there. Oh, Q is a nice one. Q is quiet. So we're gonna sit back down, crisscross. And you're gonna rest your hands on your knees and you're gonna close your eyes. And I'm gonna to count to 10 in my head. Take some nice deep breaths. Good one. That's a good one to practice when your head gets a little crazy or maybe you feel yourself getting upset or you just need some time to yourself. Sit there quiet and take some nice deep breaths. I have to practice that one too. Oh, whoa, hold on. Almost lost my letters there. Cute. R is reach for the toes. Oh. So R is reach for the toes. Here we go. So I'm going to come back. 
and I'm gonna bend forward and I'm gonna try to touch my toes. You can bend your knees a little bit if you need to. We're gonna hold it for the count of 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and stand up. Oh, S is a good one. S is what my name begins with, Stacy. So S is for snake. Okay, so we're gonna go down to the ground. Let's see. And I'm gonna lay down flat and I'm gonna put my hands here and I'm gonna push up like this. Now if you can only come up a little bit, that's okay. So just come up as far as you can and we're gonna go. So we're gonna come down, we're gonna push up 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, Eight, nine, and last one. Good work, snakes. Oh, I knew it. Oh, well, sorry, this was my choose my own, but T is for tree. So you guys should be good at this because we just did tree. All right, remember? Oh, sorry, trying to find the right camera angle here, guys. So remember, you can stand on one foot. You can bring it up really high. You can keep it low. You can keep it on your foot. You can tap it down if you need to. You can hold on. You can keep your hands in the middle. Get your hands all the way up. So I'm going to do it like this, and I'm going to count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, I'm gonna do the other side. This is my a little bit harder leg. So, oh, my foot doesn't always wanna come up as high. One, two, I'm pretending I'm a big oak tree reaching for the sun. Three, four, five, six, seven, whoa, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Oh, this is a great one. Oh. U is for unicorn. All right, so you're gonna get, I'm doing my left foot in front first. So my left foot is in front, my left knee is bent, my right knee is straight and behind. And I'm putting my hands up overhead like a unicorn horn. And I'm looking straight forward. So I'm gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, shake it off. Now I'm gonna bring my right foot forward. I'm gonna bend my right knee. My left leg is back and my left knee is straight and I'm getting my unicorn up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, V, what is V gonna be? Oh man, okay, V is volcano. So we're just gonna stand here and this is gonna be an arm one. So we're starting with our hands in the middle at our chest and we're going up in the air, like the explosion and then coming back out and then coming around and starting again. So we're gonna do 10 of those, ready? One. You can have your feet open or closed. Close is harder on your balance, so it could be a good, you know, to challenge yourself. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, 
nine. Last one is a big explosion all the way up and out. Try to reach all the way out to the side. 10. All right. T V W is warrior. All right. So this is going to be similar to unicorn. So you're going to have one foot in front with the knee bent and my right leg is back straight. But now I'm going to turn so my hands are going where my legs are, but I am looking in the middle. So I'll move back a little bit so you can see my toe is pointed where my hand is. This toe is pointed forward. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, now I'm gonna do the other one. So now my right foot is pointing that way, my left foot is pointing forward and my hands are going out to the side and I'm looking at you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, W, X. Oh, okay, this one's a little bit more active. It's an X jump. Okay, here we go, we're gonna do 10 of these. So it looks like this, you're gonna jump up and your arms and your legs are gonna go out. Make sure you have enough space around you. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, X, Y, oh dear. It says wide pose. <laughs> We're gonna do the standing up one. All right? So we're gonna have our feet together and we're gonna lift our arms up and out to the side like we're making the letter Y, so it's at an angle. And we're gonna stand really still. And we're gonna take 10 deep breaths. Eight, nine, ten. All right, and the last letter is Z. All right, this is a Z pose. We're gonna make the letter Z with our body. So we're coming back down to the ground. We're gonna get on our knees. And now if you need to, you can sit back down and hold your arms out. But if you can, so this is straight up. I'm gonna try to lean back as far as I can and hold my balance and lift, put my arms out in front. So I'm making the letter Z. One, two, three, four. If you need to be up like this, you can be. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Wow, that was awesome work everybody i hope you guys enjoyed doing the alphabet yoga it could be fun to spell different words and do all those things we just went straight through the alphabet but i hope to see all of you guys on thursday for our next one we'll see what fun things i come up with then all right everybody have a great rest of your day